Welcome to Centonomics. So today we're going to be talking about Bright and Early by Ferrari, which is a fresh citrus aromatic fragrance for both men and women. Bright and Early was launched in 2015 as part of the Essence Le Ou collection. Hopefully I pronounced that correctly. I wasn't able to find out who the nose behind this fragrance is. So this retails for around 85 US dollars, but is sadly not available in the US. So with that being said, I just wanted to take this opportunity to thank my good friend Chad over at A Gentleman's Journey for getting this fragrance to me and making this review possible. So anyway, that was a brief introduction to Bright and Early by Ferrari. Now let's move on to the presentation. So for the presentation, it comes in a nice looking box with the name and logo on the front. So there you go. And then uh, the box has a protective cardboard layer that is on the inside and hopefully that's you know visible so that will keep the bottle safe and so here the bottle itself is actually you know pretty heavy and the cap you know has this leather band band around it you have the logo and the name of the house and the name of the perfume in the front and you have the logo on the top as well of the cap so you know again overall the bottle looks pretty awesome and all the bottles of this line they look more or less the same just i think the juice is different in color uh again the atomizer is decent it doesn't have like a wide distribution but it's still pretty nice and so that's you know a little simple presentation that i had for bright and early by ferrari and with that we're going to now move on to the scent All right, so for the scent, we have the top notes, which are citron, pedigree, calabrian lemon, and bitter orange. The mid notes are orange blossom, neroli, Szechuan pepper, and rosemary. The base notes are vetiver, patchouli, and amber. So bright neroli brings neroli, obviously, as the key ingredient with pedigree, calabrian lemon, and bitter orange at the top. The body of the fragrance is enriched with the essence of neroli, rosemary, and Szechuan pepper. The base brings a woody profile with the patchouli, sorry, patchouli, vetiver, and ambroxan. This fragrance is, shows basically the typical and classical aspect of the Italian colognes with heavy freshness. The floral aspect of the scent also doesn't hide itself and is there from the start to the finish. So again, that was my brief take on the scent. Now let's move on to the rating. So for the rating, as for distinction and uniqueness, I'm going to give it a 6 out of 10. The reason I gave it a 6, which is basically a low score, is because of the similarities it has to Tom Ford's Neroli Portofino and basically any other strong Neroli-based scent, like for example 4711. However, I must be fair and say that there is a difference that may not be too obvious to everyone. Tom Ford's Neroli Portofino has more citrus accords and white florals on a creamy base, whereas Ferrari's Bright Neroli doesn't give it too many floral aspects, and it's also on a woody base as opposed to a creamy base. So it is different and unique, but it's very difficult to pick out these differences. So for longevity, I give it an 8 out of 10. It lasts around 4 to 5 hours on my skin, where I keep in mind that this is a fresh citrus aromatic, and 6 hours would be the tops, and so 4 to 5 hours is actually pretty decent and pretty good. For projection and sillage, I give it a 7 out of 10. Since it's a unisex fragrance, it is not so strong where men would appreciate it. Rather, it's more subtle to keep in mind the women audience or the female audience that it's trying to cater to along with the men. So the projection isn't bad, it's just that it's not beast mode as maybe most men would like it to be. For the compliment factor, I give it a 7 out of 10. People will appreciate the fresh smell of this fragrance. Most people even like the, like the smell and say that it smells nice. My only concern is that I hope no one confuses this for a female fragrance and wonders why a man is wearing it. Otherwise, it's pretty good. So for versatility, I give it a 7 out of 10. I think this fragrance can be worn in both casual and formal settings. I think it would be good for the warmer times of the year, like the spring and summertime. I wouldn't, like, I don't see that it makes sense to wear this 
in the winter time or when it's cold. It's a great unisex fragrance and is suitable for people of all ages. For the presentation, I give it a 9 out of 10. I like the box and the bottle. You know, the box is nice. It's, you know, nice looking and it has like this shiny thing at the bottom. And the bottle is also very classy and elegant. The, the cap is nice. The bottle is nice. You know, everything that you're looking for is great. The atomizer also look, works like a charm. See, there you go. So for the centonomic factor, I would give it a 7 out of 10. I would have given it a higher score for the centonomic factor, but since it's unavailable in the United States where I live, and I'm sure many of you also live in the States, I know not everybody does, but perhaps a lot of my viewers do. So with that in mind, um, if Chad wasn't nice enough to, you know, have me get this fragrance, we wouldn't even be having this review. So because of that, I give it a seven. But otherwise, let's say for argument's sake that it is easily available here in the States for the same $85, then I would give it a higher score, perhaps an eight, maybe a nine, I don't know. The reason being that it smells great, it has good performance, good quality, and the price is decent for the product that you're getting. So the overall score, I'm gonna give Bright Neroli by Ferrari an eight out of 10. Basically, this fragrance is a gem. Not only is it readily not so available because you can't get it here in America, but also the performance and the quality are great. It will garner you compliments and make the person wearing it feel good. In other words, like it'll boost your mood. I think it would be fair to say that this is like a younger, better looking brother of Terra de Hermes's Trey Fresh. So that was my you know, brief review for Bright and Early by Ferrari. Please feel free to check out our previous reviews and other content on our channel. Also, please like the video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already done so. Also, please comment down below and let me know your thoughts on Bright and Early by Ferrari. And let me know your thoughts on other your other favorite fragrances or other fragrances in general by Ferrari the house. So, you know, there's so many of them. Just let me know which ones you like, which ones you don't like. That would be nice to, you know, get a discussion going down below in the comments. So once again, thank you so much for watching the video and supporting the channel. I really appreciate it and it means a lot to me. This is Nabil signing off from Centonomics, where every cent counts.